end my entire pregnancy like in my head I always told myself that when I fall pregnant I'm going to document my pregnancy right from the beginning till the end but I am going through it like I am sick every single day Welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are doing good. So I am currently 30 weeks pregnant and I am so tired. I just want to eat and sleep because I am always so tired. So yeah, I'm having difficulties with breathing. My feet are swollen. I can't stand for too long. My hands are in so much of pain. Like there's a lot that is going on and I am going through it. Like I am going through through it and I am so tired I can't wait to give birth so today we are going to our doctor for our um, 30 week appointment and I'm taking you guys with me I thought let me just start vlogging since I wasn't able to vlog most of my pregnancy so yeah i'm taking you guys with us to our appointment and i hope you guys are going to enjoy watching this video and if you aren't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe give me love give me all your love oh cause i want you me feel this way don't know what you do hold my hand could you hold my hand look me in the eyes you and me so the last time i spoke to you guys was on tuesday when we went to the doctor for our 30 week appointment and we didn't receive the type of news that we wanted to hear so our baby is three grams below the weight that they are supposed to be so our doctor said he did pick it up at our last appointment but he didn't want to stress us out because our baby has been perfectly fine up until um, the last appointment and yeah it could be that we are just having a small baby or it could be that um, the problem is with the placenta it could be that the placenta is not giving the baby enough nutrients so it can grow but yeah babies do grow at different rates so he said we mustn't stress about it right now he can't tell us exactly what is the problem but judging from his scans and everything everything seems perfectly fine with the baby um, and me so yeah so at 34 weeks um, we need to go to a specialist to check what is the problem so at 20 weeks or was it 22 weeks but yeah after we did the down syndrome test we did go to a specialist i just forgot the name of the specialist so yeah we did go to a specialist to check um everything that has to do with the baby the organs and stuff and yeah the baby was perfectly fine so now we need to go back to a specialist again to check what is the problem so i am scheduled to give birth at 38 weeks uh, i want to give birth via c-section and a c-section can be done at um, 38 or 39 weeks unless it's an emergency c-section so yeah so at 34 weeks judging by the report that will come back from the specialist if there is something wrong uh, if there is something that is wrong with um 
the placenta or with whatever then I might be scheduled in for an emergency c-section that could take place any day from the day that my doctor receives the report from the specialist and I am so scared and I am so stressed about that because I don't want to give birth before 37 weeks but at this point I've got no choice I've got no choice but I'm just praying that I'm just having a small baby and it's not a problem that has to do with the placenta or with the whatever you guys this thing is so stressful pregnancy is <laughs> so stressful oh my goodness but yeah right now I'm just trying not to stress because I was told not to stress and I should rest as much as possible but yeah I can't really rest because I haven't prepared much for the baby like so let me show you guys what i've got so far for me and the baby but first let me go and drink water and calm down because i am breathing so heavily right now so the first thing that i've got is a breast pump and i got it from take a lot so this was recommended by one of the mummies on instagram that i follow i'm going to put her instagram page on the side for you guys so this is the breast pump that she recommended and she said she used it on both of her babies like this pump was so affordable breast pumps are so expensive i'm not even going to take it out of here because it's a lot of work to put it back in but yeah i did plug it in and it does go on and it's an automatic or an electric breast pump so yeah this is the first thing that i've got i'll put the link for the breast pump in the description box for you guys and then everything else is just in this bag so the first thing that I got are these breast milk shells so I'm going to use these during the day and yeah at night I'm going to use breast pads I still need to buy breast pads I haven't bought those and I've got these from she in i don't remember the price so i'll put the links and everything in the description box and if i can find a picture of it i'll put it on the side for you guys but yeah uh, this is what the shell or the breast shell looks like and then this is the bag this is where the nipple goes in so yeah i got this from she in and then the next thing that i got are these breast milk storage bags I've got them from clicks um, I think I'm still going to go and buy more but yeah I don't know if I'll need more than this I don't even know how this works I still have to read everything but I'll definitely ask other mummies to which brand um, do they prefer because I just saw that on sale at clicks and I bought it and then the next thing that I got are these maternity pads and they are also from um, clicks um, I'm still going to buy another pack so I was watching YouTube videos and the mummies recommend that she should have at least two packs of these so here there's 12 pads inside and most mummies are recommending um, the what is this brand I think it's called carry well but yeah, I'll show you everything in my what is this in my hospital bag video that's if I have the energy to do that video but yeah these are the pads I've got for now I'm still going to buy normal pads and then the next thing that I got are these maternity briefs or panties they are also from clicks so inside there are three and um, clicks currently has a three for two um, sale so I've got two boxes right now I'm still going to go and buy three more or six who knows I don't know how many I'll need but the number will depend on how many 
maternity pads I buy so these are disposable uh, maternity briefs so yeah because when you're in hospital I don't think anybody has time to be washing underwear honestly so yeah and then the next thing that I got is this eye mask from Shein so I'm not sure how things work in the hospital so I've got this to wear during the day or at night if the lights are on because I'm not sure whether they switch off the lights or Yabonaji. So just in case they don't switch off the lights or if I want if I want to take a nap during the day, I'll just put this eye mask on. And then the next thing I've got, oh that eye mask, I don't know if I mentioned it's also from Shein. And then the next thing that I got which is also from Shein are these earplugs so yeah I've got these earplugs from um, Shein so I'm going to be in the maternity ward and I'm assuming babies are going to be crying there and there'll be a lot of noise so just in case I want to take a nap I'll put these on and then I'll be able to sleep peacefully and then the next thing that I got is this so I saw this on one YouTube video so just in case I'm unable to sit down on the toilet or if it's too painful for me to sit down on the toilet then I'm going to use this when I pee I don't know if I'm allowed to use this so I'm going to ask my doctor and then I also got a waist trainer I know after I give birth and I'm given a go ahead to put on or belly bind um, my stomach I'm not sure if my granny will allow me to wear this because she has her own methods but <laughs> this is the one that I got from she in and it's in the size small yeah my granny is just something else next thing so yeah once my doctor gives me a go ahead to um bind my belly i'm going to use that and also follow my granny's methods because one, one thing about her methods they work <laughs> they work and then the last thing that i have are these maternity bras so i've got one in black and gray so with these ones they have buttons here in front so you just open the buttons and ta, your breast are out most of the maternity bras i've seen they open up here on the straps i'm still going to buy one maternity bra like that but yeah i just liked these and i bought them and then yeah okay so most of the things that i have shown you guys are things for me yeah these are things that i'm going to use and then when i found out i was pregnant and i was still excited and whatnot i went to ackerman's and i bought a few things for the baby so i've got four long sleeve vests so these were a hundred and okay basically they were 110 so these are the vests that i bought and there's four inside and then i got a matching set so there are three leggings here three uh, and then they have matching beanies yo what size is this newborn these look big though now imagine giving birth yo via the vjj and pumi candle nag egg but yeah i'm just joking i'm joking it's just the jokes hey hey and then um they are matching this so these are short sleeve this and these three okay so that's why i bought the long sleeve vests just in case it's cold in the hospital or 
at home then the baby won't wear these short sleeve vests but yeah so the only thing that's missing from the set are the bibs i don't know if they will still have them in stock because i bought this last year was it october yeah and right now it's months later so maybe they won't have them but i can just buy them in white and the reason why i bought everything in neutral colors is because when i bought this i didn't know the gender of the baby and now we know the gender of the baby and i'm just in denial like <laughs> i wanted okay let me not tell you but yeah my fiance won he got the gender that he wanted and i didn't and i just don't believe what the doctors are telling us so my doctor confirmed it the specialist confirmed it so when we go in for the 34 week appointment with the specialist i'm going to ask again but i'm gig <laughs> yeah i will announce um the baby's gender it's just that i don't want to do it right now but we didn't have a gender reveal or anything like that because it's not something that i wanted to do but people who are close to us know the gender of the baby and with you guys i'm still thinking how i'm going to share the gender with you but i will see as time goes on and then i also got newborn socks yeah i don't know newborn socks and then the last thing that i got are these booties these baby what is it called baby okay it's not correct oh booties booties these things are so small so yeah since uh yeah since we are having this problem with the baby weight I think I might also need to buy some premature baby clothes because maybe these clothes are going to be too big for the baby so maybe I'll have like oh okay no actually no I'll just buy newborn sizes when we go and buy um, things for the baby and then after our 34 week appointment or after we see the specialist then I will buy the premature baby clothes that's if we are going to need them by then hopefully we won't need them I'm just praying that um, there's nothing wrong with my baby and I give birth at 38 weeks but yeah those are the things that I have right now so I'm going to close off this video here because I don't think I'll do anything else as the doctor said i need to rest so i'll start another video when we go and buy baby items because i mean we still need to buy baby toiletries my toiletries my hospital clothes like your pajamas and whatnot and whatnot do have to buy a baby uh cot bed that electric rocking chair uh, baby bathtub like there's a lot that we still need to buy so when we go and buy that i think that is when i will start um the next video and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching